Good afternoon. On behalf of Neil and Katie, I would like to welcome you all to Thornbury Castle. Would you all please be seated? Do you want to join? Oh, sorry. <laughs> The place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And you are here today to witness the joining in marriage of Neil John Bates and Catherine Margaret Kennett. If any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. <laughs> Hopefully you got that sorted out beforehand. <laughs> Before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make to each other. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life and to the exclusion of all others. More than this, marriage joins two people who trust in the love that they have found together. It is a partnership in which each can grow and be their true selves, whilst becoming part of the other. It expresses the confidence that human warmth and dedication to the well-being of each other can overcome whatever the future may hold. More than this, marriage should provide the love, care, support and comfort you should each have for the other, both in times of joy and in times of hardship. It is a deep and lasting commitment, and one that ought not be entered into lightly or without thought. Neil and Katie have found in each other happiness, fulfilment and love. As a consequence of this, they now wish to affirm their relationship and to offer to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made, and faithfully kept. Before we go into the ceremony, Tanya, would you like to come and read your poem? Yeah, if you would like to stand there. Okay. And then now, when the one whose hands are holding is the one who holds your heart, when the one whose eyes you gaze into gives your heart hopes and dreams their start, when the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight, and the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right. When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through. Thank you. each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to one another. So would you both please stand? Would you repeat after me, please, Neil? I declare... I declare... That I know of no legal reason... That I know of no legal reason... Why I, Neil John Bates... Why I, Neil John Bates... May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Catherine Margaret Hammett. To Catherine Margaret Hammett. I declare. I declare. That I know of no legal reason. That I know of no legal reason. Why I, Catherine Margaret Hammett. Why I, Catherine Margaret Hammett. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Neil John Bates. To Neil John Bates. Ladies and gentlemen. A lady and gentlemen out there, <laughs> we've now reached the special moment where Neil and Katie will exchange their marriage promises and vows with each other to contract their marriage. I'm going to ask you a question, Neil. I hope your answer will be, I do. <laughs> Neil, do you promise to love Katie for life, to adore her and take care of her? to protect and re remain faithful to her, to continue to be proud of her every day, to take pride in everything she does and achieves, and to share in the happy moments and the sad. I do. 
when laughing may be too hard, to be herself, her other half, in the way that only she has ever made you feel and understand. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, do you promise to love Neil unconditionally, in a way that you have never loved before? Will you worship and protect him through happiness and sorrow, and remain faithful to him until the end? Do you promise to share the silence when words are not needed, to shout from the rooftops when they need to be heard, and be by his side when he needs you most through intimate and vulnerable times? Do you promise to give him all you have, complete him, and never take for granted his warmth, humour, and magnetic smile for as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Would you please repeat these words after me, but would you say them to your Katie? I, Neil John Bates. I, Neil John Bates. Take thee, Catherine Margaret Hammett. Take thee, Catherine Margaret Hammett. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Catherine Margaret Hammett. I, Catherine Margaret Hammett. Take thee, Neil John Bates. Take thee, Neil John Bates. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. We've now reached the part of the ceremony where rings are given and received. So Grant, would you please step forward with the rings? I'll just say a few words about the rings. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolises unending and everlasting love and is an outward sign of the lifelong promise you will now make to each other. So, Neil, would you take Katie's ring? Just that. Would you place it on the end of the third finger of her left hand and just hold it there and repeat these words? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. I will always love. I will always love, cherish, cherish, and respect you. And respect you. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Whatever life may bring us. Whatever life may bring us. This is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. Would you put the ring on Katie's finger? Katie, would you take me as You would hold it on the end of the third finger of his left hand and repeat these words. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. I will always love. I will always love. Cherish. Cherish. And respect you. And respect you. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Whatever life may bring us. Whatever life may bring us. This is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. Would you put the ring on your finger? Thank you, God. Sit down. Neil and Katie, you've both made the declarations required by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses and before me. May you treasure the bond created today between the both of you and enjoy the responsibility you now have for each other and for your future lives together. It is my pleasure and my privilege to now declare that you are husband and wife. Neil, you may kiss your bride. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations, Katie. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put the signing of the register now. I mean, do feel free to have a cuddle.
So would you like to escort your wife? So to be doubly sure that you get yours in the right place, I just ask you to place the pen where you intend to sign and it should be on this top dotted line. On there. Then when you're ready, yeah. That's hard. So it's forever in case. Okay. Right, and um, you're going to sign in the name of Hamet. This is the last one. <laughs> That's the last time. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. to be 